University uh, basketball players. Well, the answer is the team is undergoing a bit of a scandal as two women are accusing three Georgetown players of threats, burglary and assault. A fourth promising young player is off the team. Now, for more on what this means for the once dominant program and one of their more iconic figures, here's our Mike Wise. Patrick Ewing, the original Hoya destroyer, came back to the hilltop in 2016 to restore glory to the school he led to three Final Fours and a national title in 1984. Tonight, he's suddenly the tone-deaf college coach whose kids are in trouble. The starting point guard and one of the team's most important role players have decided to transfer. Much worse, less than a day after Ewing released a terse statement, one of the transfers and two other players have been accused of sexual assault, burglary, and threats to fellow students, according to restraining orders filed against the players last month. The details in the incident report include four stolen items and a FaceTime threat by one of the suspects, who is alleged to have said, quote, if you tell anyone, we'll send people after you, end quote. No one has had their day in court yet, and none of the players involved have been arrested. Yet three years into Ewing's plan to make Georgetown a prominent name in college basketball again, this is inexcusable. The part I'm most bothered about? Two of the accused have missed but one game apiece, and the other player has missed none. If University and Metro Police shared their information with the athletic department, which is school protocol, this means Ewing had no problem giving big minutes to players with restraining orders against them. Let's be clear. Georgetown has never been win-at-all-costs state or turn-a-blind IU. It's the oldest Jesuit institution in the country. Its values are steeped in caring for the common good. If the allegations are true, how Ewing and the school handle this runs counter to everything the university perceives itself to be. Now, knowing Ewing since my days covering the New York Knicks for the New York Times, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt until this all shakes out. But after all the dominoes fall, many much larger than basketball, the program is the least of the university's worries. Here's hoping Georgetown has its soul left. The show is based on your questions. We know you have them, so ask away. Post them on social media with the hashtag, the Q&A, or email the team, the Q&A at WUSA9.com.